All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Inc., your favorite IT help desk tech. Make sure you check out the help desk playlist. It's over 160 videos on all types of topics from day in the life, interviews, all types of things. But let's get straight into it. For First of all, it took me two years to find a help desk job and get an internship. And I got the internship, and then I had got the help desk job, like, not too long after that, maybe a couple months. So... With that being said, I'm going to show y'all where I looked at and where to look and all that because nothing from Indeed did nothing to me. I did all government type jobs. So let's get straight into it. USAjobs.gov. Go to USAjobs.gov. Right here is the title. You'll type in information technology. Now you could put your city, your zip code, country, or even remote or whatever, right? I'm in D.C., but we're going to just keep it for where it's at. And we could just, you know, edit some stuff or modify it. So let's not trip off no security clearance. And like I say, everybody here ain't in the DMV area. So like I say, this is just an example. But we got Homeland Security, Department of Justice, Department of the Air Force, Homeland Security. Let's look at that. Because that was the one I've uh, seen another time. So, summary. IT solution specialist. Security clearance, none. Virtual slash remote, yes. Then it tells you about who's actually eligible for that. But that's not the point. The point is looking at the requirements and what they're serving up. And how they look and what they edit. So, as far as the salary, one hundred and three to one hundred and fifty-eight thousand, and some change per year. That's good. Remote, yes. No travel required. Okay. So this looks like a remote position. Security clearance, no. Drug test, no. So that's cool. So it has the duties right here. Let's hear that. Information Technology Solutions Specialist will support data management initiatives for the Office of Learning, Education, of the Chief Human Capital Officer, OCHCO. This position serves as a data management solutions specialist within the training, evaluation, and assessment metrics division for leads where they will help design and implement technical solutions. Okay, cool. So the requirements, that's the nitty-gritty that we want to get to. Oh, dang, must be a current federal employee. Ain't that something? Let me go back because I'm a. It's another one that I seen that was that, that was better than that. Hold on. Let's do hiring pass. Open to the public. All right. So let's look at this one, cause forget what they want and all that. The point of this is just to show y'all like the things that they be wanting. Qualifications. You must meet the basic requirements listed uh, below. Number one, attention to detail, cool customer service, oral communication, problem solving. Put that on your resume. Education. This job does not have any educa education qualification requirements. Because like I told y'all, most of the time, high school diploma. And this is where you would go. And they got different jumps. Look, this one has various locations. Because this is the what? Is this the Department of what? Which one did I click on? Okay, Department of the Air Force. So you got the duties, but the requirements. U.S. citizen. We're looking at the technical requirements. Qualifications. Requirements for information IT. Undergraduate. I hate when I see stuff like that. And I'm keeping it real with y'all. I'm not editing this video. I'm really trying to show y'all different little jumps. Let's see one. Let's try to edit it some more. Location. Office telework. Okay. And it gets simple. requirements okay u.s citizen suitable for federal employment 
And it says more listed below. Attention to detail, customer service, like I said. Education, college transcript, two. I had seen one that had something different, but this is the places that you go, y'all. Let's look at the duties, the requirements, qualifications, a little education uh, required for this. Well, of course, education, but no, you know. Must meet the listed requirements. Which was what? It says you don't need no education, but you need to meet the listed requirements, which is, are you qualifying based on your work experience? So, y'all just got to read and deep dive into it, but this is how you do it. This is where you look, and then, because this is USA job, so this is the one, uh, no matter where you at. But they also have one for, like, D.C. government, Maryland government, Virginia government. Like this Homeland Security job. This one just say straight up IT specialist. Requirements. U.S. citizen. Relevant experience or education. Trial period. Here you go. IT special, uh, specialist requirements. Attention to detail. Customer service. Old communication. Problem solving. And all of this. So a lot of these, you just read and apply. Just read and apply. You know what I'm saying? Unless it wants you to have something specific that you don't have, like a secret clearance or something, then just apply. Because it's a bunch. They all here. So that's the end of this video. Like I said, check out my help desk playlist. We got what to do on your first day. No experience. IRLs. We got all of that. So, we even got teleworking videos from Florida two years ago. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, y'all. Let's end of this video. Subscribe to this joint, like I said. USAjobs.gov. You can come over here and critique it to whatever you want to show whatever you want. Like, you could, like, exclude remote jobs, only show remote jobs. Department of Agencies, appointment type, temporary, permanent. So, it's all there. You just got to look, y'all. And that's really it. I'm gone.